Hey guys, Games with Chin here, and uh, I'm going to do the accessibility review for Generation Zero, which I play on the Xbox One. Now, this game is fantastic, first off. And at first, I was kind of skeptical on how accessible that it would be. Um, normally... A few, I'll say, or maybe even quite a few, independent developers don't seem to do super well on accessibility. But I guess, to be fair, a lot of AAA games don't do well on accessibility either. Thankfully, however, we're making great strides and bringing that to to light and uh, accessibility becoming a much bigger thing. But anyway, in this video, I am not going to speak on matters regarding uh, the blind, like color blind or uh, sub subtitles, anything like that, because I don't have uh, a disability like that. And I don't feel it would be fair for me to cover a topic that I don't, I don't have uh, a whole lot of knowledge on. So we're going to cover the topic that I, I do know, and, and that is accessibility in terms of like range of motion and all that, because I play using my chin using the Xbox Elite Controller Series 2. Now, when I first loaded up this game, I was expecting to have to change my controls drastically. However, I didn't have to, and that was a very nice surprise, because you can map your items to the D-pad. So up, down, left, and right on the D-pad are all a different item. That was fantastic. Very easy to do. You just click whatever item you want on the D-pad, and then click the you know, hit the right trigger and you'll use it. Was very impressed. So, uh, changing your weapon was easy. It's just a tap of the Y button. Double tap the Y button to get to the other one. Um, very easy. The controls are kind of what you expect out of a shooter game, you know. I mean, X reloads, A jumps, B crouches. Your left analog stick will sprint. And you only got to tap it. Um, you know, pretty much what you expect from most normal shooters. I will say that a, cu a couple things I feel could really help the, the accessibility of this game is, uh, one, legacy sticks. Now, for those who do not know what legacy sticks are, it is where you swap the X-axis on the analog sticks. Uh, for instance somebody who plays with one hand it can only use one analog stick at a time or in my case my chin you could you can only use one analog stick at a time so when you have to try to run and then stop to hit the other stick and turn and then stop and then run you lose a lot of really valuable time and in a game like this you just can't lose that time so legacy sticks would be amazing to have as a function um now i'm very fortunate i have the xbox elite series 2 and it can have legacy sticks built into the controls like you can you can just edit them on the console to do that but there's also a lot of people out there that don't have the 175 or 200 dollars to afford the Xbox Elite Controller Series 2. So having the ability in-game to do that, it would be just amazing. Um, the other thing that could be handy is the ability to remap your controls. Now... Thankfully, the console itself lets you do lets you remap your buttons to do anything you want. But there are some people that may not want to or may not have an extra po profile made. And so if you could remap your controls 
in the in the options menu, then you wouldn't have to do it on the control. And then when you want to play another game, reset those controls to a different profile or just reset those controls in general. And I think that could really help out having that ability to customize every button. Um, one of the biggest things that I think could be really, really handy is having toggle aim. Now, most shooter games you ha it require you to hold down the left trigger to bring your iron sights or your scope up, and you know then fire with the right trigger. The problem with this is. In my case, when I play with my chin, I can't use the iron sights because I can't hold down the left trigger to aim. And I know you can modify the buttons to be different, but I need my analog stick to sprint, so I can't put it as that. I need the back paddle on my Elite controller to be the shoot button so I can shoot. And it's really difficult to aim holding down a button, one of the face buttons, while running and turning your character, you know, with just your chin. It's just really, really difficult. So I think having toggle aim where you just press the button, and it brings up your iron sights, and then press the button again to lower them, is very, very much so needed. Because this is a game where you have to aim on pinpoint spots in order to take down the, the robots. Um, and so that is so crucial, having toggle aim. Um, but overall, you know, I can't complain. They, they did a really good job. The controls, for the most part, are very simple. Uh, probably what you would expect from almost any generic uh, shooter game, except this is not a generic shooter game, but it has controls very, very similar to it. Um, I I'm impressed. I really am. And, uh, you know, minus these couple of things with toggle aim and legacy sticks and, and things of that nature, I, I think the game could be just you know, very top of the line, and they've already done a great job on it, but it could e be even better if they had just these couple features. Um, so I'm hoping that they add those features in later on, and they, and they might, you know, but for right now they, they don't have those features in, and... Uh, I think that's it. I, I think those are the only two things that I can really sit here and, and nitpick are the the toggle aim and the legacy sticks. I think those could make a huge difference with this game. I, I really do, and uh, it's, it's just a, a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, I... Absolutely, unequivocally, highly recommend that you give this game a chance. It is a great game, and the the developers seem to be very hands-on, and they seem to listen to you whenever you come to them with a suggestion. So, if you have any other suggestions, definitely, you know, take it to them in, in a very respectful manner, and I'm sure they'd be more than happy to get your advice and your feedback and all that. But I think those are my only my only complaint is the the toggle lane and the legacy sticks and and maybe even the remapping of the buttons. But thankfully I can do those options on my Xbox control, but a lot of people don't have the control that I have and they can't do that. And I think it would just make it easier if they had those options built into the game. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's it. Uh, they they just did a fantastic job otherwise. So thank you to everybody for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. And as usual, be excellent to each other.